All right, what's going on, everybody? We are here for Crimson Vow. Is it Innistrad Crimson Vow, or is it just Crimson Vow? It's Innistrad Crimson Vow. There we go. Could have just looked at the packaging there. Anyways, we're doing draft. I'm super excited. Mostly excited for Standard to be new-ish, um, or newer, newer-ish. Um, but first, we got to get cards. So one of the best ways to do that uh, is uh, is to draft. So here we are. Okie dokie. Here we go. And first off, we have... Is this the insane card? 4 mana 5, 4. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, that player creates a blood token. Whenever it attacks, it gets plus 1, plus 0 for each blood token the defending player controls. Yeah, I, I'm down for that. Um, otherwise, you know, if this wasn't here... Like, this is a 2-1 flying with training... Otherwise, minus 13, minus 13. Or I'm at a removal spell. But yeah, we're going to grab... We're going to grab that. Flying and Trample seems really strong. Uh, Doom Dissenter. This is good, right? It's also Gift of Fangs. Gift of Fangs actually seems like a really good one. Uh, persistent specimen. It's just a reassembling skeleton, right? But three mana. Like it's one mana to play and three mana to reanimate, as opposed to uh, two mana to play, two mana to reanimate. But gift of fang seems good. Um, and then doom dissenter would be like a close second. But yeah, let's just take the gift of fangs. I, I'm. It's a little combo here. A little combo. A little k -k -k combo. What's a creature exile a card? They each opponent exiles a card from their hand. Okay, got sure strike. Deal one damage to each opponent. Each creature and planeswalker they control seems bad. Uh, one two with training when it dies, put its counters on target creature you control. Two two with disturb for another aura. That's the aura guy. Of attacks with a creature with greater power. This works again. This this seems decent, right? You just play with like any two, any two other two or three drop, and it it gets a counter. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try this. Like this is just speculative. Like I'm uh like we're definitely trying to play black, but it's like this is this is more of like a I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Odric, wait, here I can actually see I have three Odrics already. Um, I'm not going to be taking that, obviously. I think we just take the infantry. Oh, no, there's a vampire here, a decent vampire. And then, oh, Flame Blessed Bolt, though. I like the strategy of taking all the cards that are count as removal and then going from there. But I do think I'm going to want to end up being red now. See that, and I see this card. What does this card do? Max another creature card. Another card gets flying. Add one mana of any color, put a counter on it. Or this dude. Deals damage equal to the number of wolves. The mana dork? Or boating statue? It seems slow, but it's, uh, you know, I guess. It's actually, it's only three counters, is it? Yeah, actually, that's kind of cool. Oh, it also untaps. Untaps itself. Five five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Not bad, not bad. Three minute two two and it enters. If you gain life this turn, return a creature guard and graveyard to your hand. It's two three. Deals damage to a vampire, destroy that creature. I really like any of these. Three mana two three menace seems fine, right? But also this is just a three mana two two flying. I go for the bat. Going for the bat. Gluttonous guest. Or like yeah, this card seems really bad, right? Like five mana two five that taps a creature. Seems really bad. Last as long as you have a spirit, you cast it, tap two creatures. Really bad. I think we're just taking the other vampire here. <laughs> 
Um, until the end of your next turn, you may play those cards. So this can just be like a two mana draw too sometimes. Yeah, it's just worse light up the stage, yeah. As people have said, I believe. Human Shaman or draw two, lose two, make a blood. Make a blood, uh, I think. I guess like, I don't know how relevant the blood tokens are. Probably not very, but like three mana draw two. Yeah, seems fine. Token creature gets plus three, plus three. Another creature gets plus two, plus two. And another creature gets plus one, plus one. They all gain vigilance. Why is this three mana? I guess you have to have three creatures to do it, but like, this is a lot of stats. Or this. I'm gonna try nabbing this. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't think it really matters. All right. Well, there's there's end of festivities, anyways. Uh, we're kind of getting cut. It feels like we're getting cut. I don't like getting cut. Getting cut doesn't feel good. Syncopate. Alchemist Retrieval. Laid to rest. Let's just take Syncopate. I don't know. Reckless or Vampire. Put a counter on it. Eh. Just, I, well, uh, just decided for us. I think I would rather, if I end up playing Vampires, I would rather be Red Black, right? Like, that's where the Vampires are at. All right, here's a Rending Flame. What is this? Death Touch, when it enters the battlefield, exile up to one card from a graveyard. If a creature card is exiled this way, drain them. Five mana, one, 13. <laughs> uh, and then the Celebrant that makes a blood when it dies. I think, yeah, we just take the, it's pretty clear to just take the, the flames there. This. Ooh, is that good? Probably not. You gain life this turn, create a blood token. Sacrifice two blood tokens, transform it. And then it's a 3-3. Three, three. Or there's this guy. I mean, this has got to be like a decent card, right? You can just like sack two random blood tokens and it's a 3-3. Three, three. It's a 2 mana 3-3. Three, three. That, like, has a good drain effect. Yeah. Zombie cleric. Human dude. Uh, let's see. Enters, create a blood token. Oh, this is the... the this was, seemed pretty good against me, right? Like, it, it, it uh, you know, put pressure on me. As opposed to these, like, three drops. Yeah, I think, I think our curve needs some four drops. Sacrifice it as long as your opponent controls a human. Four mana, one three. I guess this is kind of interesting where it like puts them in the abyss where like they have to continuously sacrifice it. I'm gonna try this. Like I feel like the socialite is is cool, but I want to try how good this is. And it's combat damage. Make a blood token or two two two. I think I'm just taking the two for two, two, two for two. I don't know about this ceremonial knife. I feel like this card isn't horrible. It's just a two mana two, two. Uh, otherwise, there's bloody betrayal, which could be interesting. And yeah, I think I want to try that because it makes blood token and this is not that great. A lot of three drops. Kind of need some stuff in the other, the other realm. Oh whoa! Storm Tracker creature or Planeswalker create two blood tokens. There's this dude and there's this guy. Eh. 
It enters the battlefield to create a blood token. Eh. I think I just want this. It's like a really expensive removal spell, but maybe the blood tokens make it worth it. Maybe? Maybe? Um, well, I mean, a 2-3 death touch that drains a little bit might be good. It also is some graveyard removal. Target player loses two life, you gain two life, and make two blood tokens. That seems really good. Like, this seems like a fine turn two play that, like, sets us up for, like, the Bloodseeker or, like, one of our other blood token users or whatever. Okay. Uh, all these suck. Oh, there's a rare. So there, I'm gonna rare draft. Um, Alright, I'm not taking three of these. I'll just take another... Oh, actually, Sanguine Statuette might be decent. Yeah, I'm gonna re-sack a blood token. That counts for, like, this... Yeah. Take the bat. Courier bat seems fine. Just three mana. It's just a just a wind drake. Just a wind drake with upside. Uh, I guess like this can gain a slave. Is there anything else that gains a slave? This gains a slave. Yeah, there's some cards that do. All right. Well, none of these matter. Um, all right, Dex flushed itself out. I was really worried about this end, really. Um, so it's getting better. Let's see what the last pack has to offer us. Some Crawler Dude. Into the Night comes Night. Discard that many cards, yada yada. Not really what we're interested in. I think the Falcon Rat Celebrant is where we want. Enters the battlefield, deal one damage to each opponent, create a blood token. Um, I'm going to recast the non-creatures, but yeah, this is whatever. And then this is the Sack Dude. And then the Bad Destruction. Yeah, I think the 4-4 the Menace with the two Blood Tokens seems nice. It's like a good Curve Topper. Take another one, or we could do this. Actually, this seems better, right? Is the 2-drop? I think I want the Blood Creation before the Blood Users, so to speak. Right. But like this on the wheel or um the combat celebrant would be a okay with me. Deals combat damage to create a blood token. Probably where we're gonna be. This seems bad. It's got defender, and then the other side attacks each combat a fable. Seems really bad. Seems like that card never will do what you want it to do. Um Like a vampire, you control deals damage to another creature. Choose one or both. Cre oh, choose one or both. Creature controlling a plus and plus O oh until end of turn, and then a vampire can also deal damage. I mean, we are the vampire's deck. I mean, non creature spells. Yeah. It seems a little conditional. I'm going to take the, the good card. If this comes back, fine. This, like, enables our bats if we, like, sack blood tokens. Yeah. Vehicle comes an artifact. Uh, or we get another blood petal celebrant. I, don't, I do like the belligerent guest. Um, otherwise... Sacrifice it, return two creatures from your graveyard to your hand. Seems bad. It's like, seems fine, but yeah, I'm gonna go with the, uh, the Celebrant. Okay, here is the... Sorry, here is the other two drop that I wouldn't mind playing. Since it benefits from blood tokens, or like us, us using the... Activating the blood tokens. Where is it? There it is. Um... 
now I think I can start to weed out like maybe this is fine. This is fine. These are all kind of fine. Hmm. Hold up. Honored heirloom is like decent, right? But like probably not going to, I don't think that's a card that this deck wants, actually wants to play. Okay, I'll take the one drop. This one drop is probably one of the ones that I would most want to play. Okay, I'll take a second. Because that essentially allows us to play this or this like fairly early and, and do things with it. Oh, this also works really well with, yeah, the gluttonous guest. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, I think I'm taking out the ghoul. I want to take out this reckless impulse. Definitely one, I think. Um, maybe maybe actually pointed discussion is just the, the better. Yeah, so actually, and then we'll take out. What? I don't want to take out bloody betrayal. I like this diagram. I want to try out the diagram scavenger. I uh, ooh, ragged, a second ragged recluse is actually not horrible. Hmm. Let's hate draft the uh, vampire slayers. <laughs> That'd be something you you would actually want to do if you're the vampires deck is like if you see these going around. I mean, ugh, sorry, wait, never mind. In, in your actual, you know, paper playing, I mean, uh, obviously not in arena because drafting doesn't matter here. Um, okay, so I gotta make three cuts. I want to play seventeen lands, which of course I do. So yeah, I think bloody betrayal is coming out. Uh, maybe we actually do get rid of this. I like all of these. Uh, do one damage to each opponent. Make a blood token. Yeah, this seems like... Like, I don't know whether I should not be running this guy as much because it's a bad top deck. Maybe I don't need this. I mean, yeah, maybe I don't need this. Just have, like, two drops that are that are better. Um, this is fine, right? Got it can come down. It's got haste, and like it's a comes down and makes a token. I want to test this. this. This might be a card that comes out. Um, for you know, for like the uh, I've acquired. Oh, we got the vault. The vault is ready. Cool. Hype. All right, let's see how this goes. Uh, this hand looks fine, right? We got a removal spell, we got the uh, statuette, we got the guest. So, like, we have a, a, a decent curve here. You can always discard this, uh, if it turns out to not... If we if we don't get our second black source, we got our second black source, alright. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna, I guess I could do this and then immediately attack with this, but I just want to, like, play out my, my, my dudes. Oh, so they have something that deals with creatures in their hand. Because they couldn't respond before, but they can respond now. I think of your upkeep, they can sacrifice a creature. Okay, wait, so if they don't play a creature here, they're basically put into the abyss where like if they they either like let this transform or they have to sack a dude every turn so that's kind of cool oh they have to discard the hand size that's that's what's going on uh well i'm gonna attack i'm gonna play this thing that prevents you from playing creatures Oof. 
Exploits a creature, scry one, then draw a card. Would you like to sack a creature opponent? Come on, you know you wanna. All right, <laughs> I'm good with that. Um, this doesn't get trample. Maybe we just, uh, hmm. we could do this. We can sack to discard this and draw a card. I don't know if I want to keep this. Maybe I do. I feel like we got enough uh, blood tokens. Yes, I would like to. Yes, I would like to get my uh, five five. And let's just do this and attack. This is quite a board. I'm going to keep this in my hand to potentially discard later. Again, this is this this represents another blood token to attack with this. Um yeah. You got it. What does it do? Number of cards in your graveyard. Sure. Okay. Oh shoot, I didn't sack a blood token. Oh well. Uh, actually, I'm not, right? I'm just, I'm just, uh, playing both of these out. Saying go. Rip. <laughs> hey, made a 5-5. Five, five. Uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, sack this. Yes. Oh my goodness. Let's cast that for the BM. Cast that for the BM. Just the good old, the good old tilt. That felt pretty good. Felt pretty good. All right. Oh, yeah. So this hand is not great. I think I'm on the draw, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna mulligan actually. This hand is better. What do I put back? I think I put back the bat or the guest. I have put back the guest because like this is just I'm just gonna be aggro. We keep on drawing this card. Just keep on drawing it. Deal two damage to you. Exile the top card to library. You may play this turn. Activate only as a sorcery. When you play a card exiled with it, transform. Um. I think I I think I just did uh, play this. Like if my opponent wants to like bash themselves in the face. Like, they can also exile something that they can't play. Okay, that's fine. Do I care? Like, I can... attack back with a vampire? With a big vampire? Nah, but I don't think I'm winning the race. I'm just gonna make a blood. Make a blood. Okay, there we go. That's that's gonna be awesome. Okay, so then given we're gonna cast this next turn, what are we casting now? We play this and then cast this, and then next turn, like we cast this and then turn after we do the blood stuff. Do I actually want to trade for this? Or do I just want to play the bat? I think I'm just going to let this hit me. 
Oh, well. Well, now not so much. Now that I played like a reach, like I'm not getting in with it anyways. So anyways, here's a 5-6. So I give him a blood token, but it gets bigger per blood token. Uh, and now I can even like do the combo, whatever, and put this on my vampire. Just like smack him. Just like smack him real good. <laughs> what? It's too big, guys. It was too big. I'm attacking for seven on turn five, but like. I feel that was way preemptive. That was really funny. Are we just gonna win to people conceding to us playing that card? Feels good to me. Could have also get in with the statue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. I forgot about that. That's the whole point of the, the play we made. Yeah. Um. Yeah, attacking for... Well, no, because the statue doesn't have flying. It's just... uh. Two, three. They had blockers, right? Mm, this isn't keepable. Okay, this is good. Yeah, like I, I couldn't really get in. Okay, do I keep the statue? Yeah, just get rid of the bat. Keep the statue. It's on turn two. It's on turn three do things mulliganing with blood tokens seem feels so bad like i have one less card to like get rid of essentially now i just play this like it's a one three like this has haste, so like I can do this anyways if I really wanted to do this next turn. I attack their mana. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm joking. You can you can play whatever you want. The wolf. Um. I could kill both of their things. I could use this. Make a red. Yeah, this feels like it's gonna be hard for me to deal with. I'm actually gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna remove this. And like now, this is like this card in hand, and like, this feels really bad. Huh. Yeah, I definitely feel like if I had one more card in my hand, I would feel a lot better. Get a card back? What does this do? Turn one creature and one non-creature from the graveyard to your hand. Okay, cool. Uh, ooh. Okay, wait. Shoot. I think I just play this. I think I just play out my things. Uh, attack with this dude. Then we got this guy. Oh, and I can attack with this. Wait, wow, this is insane. Yeah, wait, this is a 5-5 five five next turn. Yeah, this is crazy. So yeah, so we make a red with this. Oh, it's only at the end step. Never mind. Okay, never mind. Uh, but we sack the blood. Discard this. Yes. Do I even play that? I do not. Cool. Both of those transform. We have a 5-5. Five, five. That's... Eh, that's not so fine. 
All right, we need some blood stuff. There's a blood thing. I'll make a red. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, let's just pass. Hopefully, we draw something that creates a blood so that this can do something. I guess this isn't really gonna do anything, anyways. I spooked. My spooked. Kind of spooked. I think I'm gonna let this one go. That's fine. Fine ish. All right, blood. That's actually not the worst, right? Make him sack a dude. Oh, but like only at our upkeep. Ah, oh, this is bad. Um. So let's see. I think I just pass. I just. Next turn, I'll block it. I'll block the 6-6 the six, six here. I think I'm just blocking it with just enough so that if they pump it, like, maybe I just lose this. But, yeah, this feels really bad. Here comes the pump spell. Braid. All right. So I guess that was getting me anyways. Alright, it's fine. Would you like to sack a dude? You know, drawing non-lands would be real nice. You know, drawing non-lands would be real nice. Um, this feels real bad. Like, uh, I mulligan. I like. I I can't find another blood generator. And my opponent played a 6-6 and had two combat tricks. Okay. His hand is good. Hand is very good. Holy moly. Wait. One, two, three. All right. If this deck doesn't... If this hand doesn't win, deck's trash. Oh my god, this and put a uh, Gift of Fangs on it? Sign me up. Oh my god, how did they not? Alright, I'm just gonna, gonna play my dude. Enters, make a three. Okay. So, if I gift things, my dude, and then they block, I'm very happy. Just take six casually and I get a blood token. Seems great. I also completely forgot that this was in my hand. Playing horribly, but it's fine. <laughs> my opponent just had to waste their whole turn and now I'm gonna ca Okay, it was it was it was a big brain play guys, because I was like, ah they clearly have a removal spell. Clearly. 
Yeah, exactly. It was it was it was a big brain. They're just like ah, they they clearly got it. Actually, oh no, I can't get it. They exiled it. How did they exile it? Oh, the thing exiles it. Oh, got it. It's uh, two, three. Get a human. Okay, but like now, get to uh, smack him in the face. Yeah. All right, I get to smack you in the face. Holy moly! Um, <laughs> uh, I guess we'll play this and this. Yeah, why not? Play some dudes. Some dudes. Card is good. Card has ward. It's 3-3. Three, three. I guess, like, they can sack the blood tokens. Alright, they just don't want to play. Yeah, this is going to be the majority of how we win games. Is our opponents are going to see 4 mana 5-6 and they're going to concede the game. <laughs> is how it be. Why does- is it, this is Sarkhan, right? Why does Sarkhan look so handsome? Like, why is he so... <laughs> why is he so good looking? <laughs> yeah, it's Soren, right? At least I think so. Exploit. You wanna exploit that? what I thought. Um, just get the celebrant in there. Opponent attacks. I'll offer the trade. Okay, I get a, uh, was it a thing, right? Yeah, seems good. Um, Let's play this, right, and it checks this. Uh, and then, I don't know, next turn I can, like... Legion Guest, Gift of Fangs. Seems great to me. Uh, this is discard a card, gains indestructible under turn, tap it. And then if there are four or more creatures in your graveyard, transform it. Alright, so hear me out. What if I murder that? Yeah, I'm just gonna murder it. I don't want to deal with it. I don't like it. Don't want to deal with it. Just get it out. Scab. You exploit a non-token creature. Create a two-two. Oh yeah, so exploit only works for non-token. Is that what all of them are? No. Okay, it's just this one. Okay. Sure. Oh, it's whenever you, whenever a creature you control exploits a non-token creature. Wait, that's crazy. Um, I guess they got a bunch of tutus, so maybe this isn't great. Yeah. Like I have a one four. What are you going to do about my one four opponent? Nothing? Okay. Good to know. Uh, here's a 4-4. Four four. Uh, then I can Gift of Fangs. 
Sag. Super Sag. All right. All right, well, let's do that. All right, so let's play this. I feel like I am discarding the blood. Vampire's Kiss. Make more, make more dudes. Um, yeah, I'm down, right? Cause like I'm like not attacking anyways. Make a three, three. <laughs> Going back and forth. <laughs> yep, so they do these things. Alright, so they drew something that was not playable. Uh, that seems kind of nice. I think I am doing... <sighs> do I want to... Hmm. It's like if I do this on this, they can like double block, but I think that's fine. Oh wait, this is not a vampire! This is not a vampire! Yeah, I know, we, we probably called it before I, uh, before I did it. Uh... It just works with the other vamp- it works with blood, so I think it's a vampire. Alright, well, read the cards, everyone. Creature types matter. Yeah, thanks. Alright, uh, this is still fine. Um... Man, this sucks. I would have really loved to... What if I just... Okay, wait, 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 guys, 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 guys. Big brain, big brain. I attack with this. And then I get a dude back. Insane. Insane, I know. I get the same dude back. I can get the same dude back. I just, I just, I just recovered. I just recovered. Alright, like, I don't want this. I just want this. It's all good. It's all good, guys. It's all good. It's all fine. It's back. It's back, everyone. It's back. Does this get some creatures back from the graveyard? It's fine. This is all fine. Oh, I want that, but I think I am. Um, yeah, just, just, uh, discarding. Like, what other ways are you enabling this besides exactly, um, besides exactly, um, blood? Like, that's what I don't get. Okay, so, like, we're back. We're back to, we're back to square, point, square A. Again, sack to get some creatures back. Once they get in, they're getting these two. Sure. I think I am sniping this. With a little sniperino. This is good. Because this allows me to keep a card in my hand. Okay, and by that I mean I'm gonna just keep on looting. Uh, let's do swamp. Because why not? Okay, and then we're just gonna not- we're gonna not show what we're doing next. Even though it's gonna be sacking more blood tokens. Uh, so my opponent's probably playing this next turn. Like, I don't care if they exile a card from my hand, right? I got rid of their exploiter. You got it. Oh wait, what is- what does this thing do? Into the battlefield transformed under its owner's control. Oh, what is it? Hey, what does this card do? Sacrifice islands, it can't be blocked. Okay. Yeah, and he's got two islands, so we can do that exactly once. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's do this. Mix gain tons of life. They like this gluttonous guests are not bad, right? 
Gaining me some life, being 1-4 bodies. Uh, let's sack some more blood, shall we? Keep looting, lay looting away lands. I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna keep doing it. I'm just gonna keep doing it until I find a spell I like. That's a spell I like, and I have the blood. I don't mind if I do. This is activate only as a sorcery, which is fine. Instep if you gained life this turn. So actually, I think I still want to do this now, right? Ooh, lots of life. It transforms, and then like I, I, I still gain the life. Oops, don't do that. Yeah, that's not bad. Yep, that's fine. He has one creature in his yard, right? It's fine. I will take my four damage. I am at a 30 life, sir. Um, the beginning of, of your end step, but like, I'm probably just using, uh, this next turn. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna actually just do this now. Gain two more life. This is kind of crazy. This is kind of cracked, right? Uh, I guess I play this, activate... It seems really good, right? I just, like, have so much life. And I'm draining my opponent every turn. And if there are four more creatures in your graveyard... Okay, so, like, what if I just, like, block this? Like, are you just gonna discard two creatures, four creatures in your hand? You can't. You literally can't. <laughs> sure. Cast a creature, exile a creature card from your graveyard. And cool. Zombie horse. Zombie horse. Um, let's do this. How do I lose here? Good question. Uh, probably finding some removal for the reveler, right? Um, all right, let's just do this. I think I'm actually not going to sack the blood token, though. I think I'm going to be playing my lands out, because then I could get, like, get more value out of this, right? I could get, like, another, like, dude from my yard. Yeah, I'm not sure how I lose here. I guess this also means I have, I have like a slightly faster clock. Ooh, well, that's lifelink. <laughs> They're starting to get in more now, right? Um. <clears throat> so yeah, here I'll block here and block here. I'll just take. I guess I can block this, or I can block this. Just block it with this. It saves me two damage now, but theoretically it's like more damage in the future, right? If this flips. I guess I'm like, there's one there's one creature in the yard. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna eat this. I'm just gonna eat it. Sure.
Oh, so wait, wait, what does this transform into? Four? Oh, shoot. That's pretty good. That's spooky. This might be how I lose. Uh... Yeah, so exploit resolves. Sack a dude. Uh, exile a card from their hand. I think I always loot here, right? Always loot. Sure, that's fine. So, if I hit attack all, they block here, they block here, and they block here. Great. Yeah, I can't attack into this, right? So I just have to... Um... <sighs> Dang, this is, this is, this just got a little bit harder. Because now they're at parity, right? They're at they're at essentially parity. I guess I can break parity by attacking like this. Can they hit me on the swing back? How many creatures in the yard? One, two, it's two. So there's probably no way that he can flip this. So then it's just seven, eleven, fourteen. Oh, well, it has to block with these uh, on, on some. So 7, 10, 17, 20. Yeah. Yeah, this is... The best I can do. So I guess the four... Yeah, this is rough. This is gonna be rough. Yeah, the life linker is ruining this. This is this is how we lose. I think I'm losing. <laughs> Yeah, and like I can't double activate. I'm like well away from double activating. What could be the thing that I draw to get me out of this? Removal for this would be like the only thing. Uh, well, now that we say that. We attack like this. Could also attack like this. Gain another life. Put more pressure. Uh, I guess this can get indestructible, so never mind. Sure, it's fine. So I think first things first is I gotta sack the blood token. See what is going to be on top of my deck. Also, like, note what my life total is. So this is 10, 13. So then I block and I go to... You know, I just block whatever. And I go to six. Or I can trade with this. Maybe I trade here. This is just when it blocks. Or this one it just when it attacks. Yeah, maybe I'd do that.
and then essentially hope that I can untap. Uh, yeah, I gotta do this, right? And then I can activate this at any point, and then I play this, and I have five mana. So, like, I just have to... Well. Uh, actually, wait. I just have to untap. I just have to activate and then untap with the bat. So I can block. Yeah. So first, let me count the number of creatures. One, two, three, four. Okay. So like this is essentially a 4-4, four, four, can be a 5-5. Five, five. Um, I think since it's the last turn of the game, I'm doing this and I'm doing this. Uh, right. I guess like this could be bigger. This can be a 5-5. Five, five. Uh, I guess this is guaranteed to be a 4-4, four, four, whereas... So if I do this and I go to 11, this is... Oh my god, is this ex they have exact? Hold up. 7, 10. So if this is a creature, I'm dead. Right? 6, 9, 10. I'm at a, a virtual 11. Yeah, so if this is a creature, I'm dead. Oh wait, no, no, no. I gotta do this. This ensures I stay alive. I think I almost threw that. Okay, whew. Okay. I'm just gonna activate this now so I don't like accidentally mess up or whatever. Oh my goodness. And I top checked lethal anyways. Okay, cool. What a game. What a game. I hope some of my thought process came through there. Um, like I know some like it's easy to explain myself and the game is really easy, but then when I get into like the 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 big headspace, you know, I wanna make sure that like you know when I'm when I'm doing this, uh I'm explaining my plays. Uh, explaining what I'm doing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Alright, I see a rare, I see gluttonous guest, and I see a removal spell. I'm keeping this hand and hoping to draw a swamp. I have drawn the swamp, guys. We won the game. Um, this is a 1-1. One -one. It says, target creature gets plus one plus oh. You gain one life. Activate only as a sorcery. Sure. Would you like to attack me with your one one, or would you like to gain a life? I don't even really want to remove this, right? Just, just let it hit me for one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this on turn three, so... I'm down. Drew two swamps. Uh, I would kind of like to not draw lands anymore, but... Uh, also, Evolving Wilds, don't play it. Please don't play it. Do not put it in your deck. They, they got a planes with it. Bad. What? That that just shows that like they that you should not be playing it. No. <laughs> See, that's a much juicier target for um for this. All right, so my opponent's gonna hit me for one. I'm gonna blessed or flame blessed bolt. Griff Rider. Take my beats. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm serious, Arena. I would really like to stop drawing lands. I would really prefer it if I got to draw some spells at some point in this game. Who knows, maybe they needed a second white. But like, that, that Evolving Wilds could have just been on other planes. It's fine, it's fodder for blood. <laughs> oh, come on! 
Hello? Um, I think I should cast this first. Um, do I even care about a one damage? I guess I do with this with this guy, right? Cast a spell, opponent. I dare ya. I dare ya. Cast a spell. Didn't, didn't know you were playing Arena? Are you on Arena? Doesn't say you're on Arena. Gain a life. You got it. Was that? Why did it suddenly have... Oh, it, target, it has to target another creature? Oh, that's funny. Um, so if you gained life, you make a flood. Okay, well, let's do this. Discard a swamp. Gain a life. The fact you're drawing all lands is just... Oh, okay, that's funny. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. I gotcha. Uh, so let me play this, and then we transform it next turn by playing the Celebrants. Thank you for also let's let's drawing lands. Uh, let's smack. Smackity smack. I think I'm down to just attack these. Is there something with flash that I'm like I'm like not thinking of? Yeah, there's something with flash, yeah. Sure. That's fine. That that was always gonna get us, right? Like, so that's fine. Make a blood. And the sacking of the blood is gonna trigger our gluttonous guest. K -k -k combo. This card seems really bad. Uh, like, uh, like, it just, just on face value, like, it just, it just, it just, it just looks like it feels really bad. I don't know. I would like to turn my 1-3 into a 3-3. Three, three. May I, may I, may I have some more power, please? Do I attack even though my opponent has shown to have fierce retribution? I think the answer is still a yes, right? Also, this is probably the best version of this that we've ever had, right? Before we've had like Gideon's Reproach, right? Which is two mana deal four to an attacking creature. Tap target creature doesn't tap during its controllers and tap step draw card. Oh, Chill of the Grave. Uh, isn't there another card that's like chill, chilling grasp or something? That's like the same. Oh, this costs one less if you have a zombie. That's cool. Repoach hit blockers. Oh, okay. But like in terms of like constructed, I like like can this C play in constructed? It's just two mana kill an attacking creature. Yeah, also the tapping thing not effective against our reveler because we still get blood tokens and we still get to activate. Like, that seems like the best version of, like, destroy an attacking creature for a defensive white deck. Like, that that, that I've seen. I don't know. Like, how often was the deck playing Gideon's Reproach using the deal damage to blockers mode? For target creature... Target creature's owner puts it on the top or bottom of their library. Sure. What are you gonna... What are you doing with that? Sh sure. I'll put it on top. I'll just draw it. Do I want to play this? No, I think I want to sack it. Or I want to want to ditch it. Yeah, just play this and pass. Uh oh shoot! I should I missed a I missed a easy blood token. Oh well, whatever.
This seems not bad, right? Five mana, three, five, but sometimes, uh... Also, this has menace now, so, like, this isn't actually... I was, like, thinking for a second, I was like, oh, I can't attack this, but we can. And that's hype. Love me some attackers. Any attackers in the chat? Loot away our land. Yeah, so that was a little misplay. Yeah, you should sack on your main phase when you have the Reveler. Doesn't really matter. Ooh. Um. <sighs> I really want to cast it on this. It's just like a question of like, what does my opponent have here? Big problem for me is like, I just have no idea what the cards are in this set. Alright, I'm gonna go attacking. I don't think I play around the Wrath- where's the Wrath card? It's like the 5 mana, choose a number, choose 1 to 13 or whatever. Each, everyone sacks that many creatures. Whatever it is. Like, that's rare, I'm not playing around it. My opponent has it. So be it. Clip it. Clip it. I call I called it. They were playing as if they had a wrath. I should have uh I should have uh been a little smarter there. All right. Well, like, like again, like, like, think about how I guess. So I probably should not have played the guest, but like, yeah. Uh, besides that, you know, my plays was fine. I don't know. I just didn't feel like playing around a uh, uh, random rare. Yeah. Can someone actually clip that for me and and, and send me that? Much appreciated. You just like post it in the the Discord or something. It's just hard for me to clip things while I'm actively playing. Uh this is fine, right? It gets me a dude back. So this can get me back the five six. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I'm just probably not going to care about this because I've got so much life and then I'm going to get a 5-6 soon and I'm going to be attacking in the air. So I don't care about my opponent's plays here. only block creatures with flying it's a two three i hate this game No attacks from the opponent is kind of interesting. I guess I can double block, but I'm not double blocking anything. Um, let's make black with this. I don't. I don't think I'm blocking with this ever, so might as well. I guess let's sack a blood token first. See what we draw. That'll be good for a follow-up, but let's just cast our uh, our dude. Oh, and we're not attacking because this is a 2-3, Sag.
So they're probably sacking their blood token here. Makes sense. Whoa! Discord this? Oh, they drew their land. Do they have another one? What is this? Enters the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield. Fun. Are they copying my dude? Wow, I hate this game. I hate this game so much. I guess I can, like, attack them back. I can attack them for more. Yeah. It's like, I can, like, attack and then they have to, like, block with the dude. And then I don't have it anymore, so they can't copy it. This is only gonna... Pull up. The other side. Can I, can I see the original? There we go. Uh, create a copy that's a copy of Enchanted Creature. Okay, so they actually enchant my stuff with that, which is kind of interesting. Alright. So. I'm doing this. Um, I'm doing this. So, yeah, I think... Let's do this first. Let's do black, cast this, draw two, lose two. And then can play this sack two blood. Uh, I guess I'll have a lot of blood. Just gonna be unfortunate. But then I'll have, I guess this three three that does things. Does that do anything? Maybe it doesn't do things. Maybe I just want to get rid of all these blood tokens. Yeah, I kind of want to get rid of these blood tokens. I'm gonna discard one. Uh, wait. Oh, let's discard this. Could I... Did I have a land that I could play? Because that would be awesome. If I could do this... Okay, play this. I haven't gained a life, but I can cast this. And then this is only little... Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna attack here. my opponent doing um awesome cool thanks i'm gonna see this okay so they loot it's in the the cord ah oh, perfect there we go um awesome thanks ricky It is a 6-6. Six, six. Why is it only a 6-6? Six, six? Oh, it's only for each blood. Oh, okay. Alright, well, yeah. I'm gonna trade for that thing. And then I guess I will play this. And pass. Keep this. Yeah. So I can, like, gain life and then get back like this? Can I... Do I have a way to get more blood tokens? Not on the board, but theoretically. Um, otherwise, what am I getting? Walk and Wrath Celebrants. Hmm. a toughie uh what is my opponent doing with this does that work how does that work did they get the card itself or they get the creature they get the creature yeah so they're gonna get the five five they're gonna get the five five side which is rough i guess i can like slam it into them and make them block it yeah. 
Uh, let's add some red mana. And let's cast not this. I guess let's just cast this. Use the let's use the mana, right? This is kind of awkward, um, but we're gonna smack him. We're gonna smack him and smack him. This will have us gain life, and then we'll use the courier bat to get a creature back. Yep, that's fine. So, what are you getting back with this? Could just get a creature back and then Zack and discard it to the blood. Um, but I think the thing we get back is the... Are we getting back the Flying Trample? Yeah, I think we're getting back the Flying Trample again. And this Courier Bats have actually felt not horrible, right? Like, is that crazy? Is that crazy that like the courier bat like 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 obviously it's just though a win uh, a wind drake or whatever but like all right let's see make sure yeah they get the five five so that's somewhat annoying um like I guess because I have three cards in your graveyard against first strike discard a card exile it return to the battlefield sure. Wait, sure. Say sack a dude. It's really sacking. Sure. Oh, and then what does this do? This is like another enchantment. Okay. That's fine. But like enabling the card to its full extent doesn't seem so, so hard. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I can kind of do it. All right. So, go to my turn. I see. Black. If it was a creature card, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. Alright, so let's cast this first because we're 100% casting this now. But like, are we just smacking? Smack here, we smack here, right? And then if I'm attacking that, it might as well, right? Let's just let's just get in there. Let's just end the game. This is death touch. And my opponent's still taking two, and so then, like, the Diagraph Scavenger is going to exile something. Bring them to one. Yeah. Let's do it. It's like we're not going to be able to attack on the ground anymore necessarily. Uh, what am I exiling? Oh, this is a creature card in the graveyard. I was like, I want to exile this, but I want to exile and get the, the value off of it. That's really good. This Diagraph Scavenger seems great to me. Like, it's it's a little overcosted, but like, I don't, I haven't minded it at all. Like, ever, I've been fairly satisfied with it every single time I've cast it. Oh, this is a bear. It's a bear, guys. <laughs> Alright, so they are probably looking for... Also, if they can't cast spells, they don't want to give me blood. Or give, give themselves blood. That's a really good sign. This card is not going to do a lot for them. They could probably only play one or two of uh, cards from this point on. Anytime your opponent is searching for cards, it means they don't have the answer yet. Or, you know, or at all. Hmm. 
Mm. This is pretty fun so far. I like the blood is kind of like getting rid of flooding. Like I've I, like I've been able to cast so many spells, but I only have seven lands in play. And like there's a look at, like there's a, one, two, three, four, five, six lands in my graveyard. So I've drawn quite a bit of lands, but I've turned them all into spells. All right, they're still looking, still looking. What you looking for, bud? What you looking for? Man, we beat this. Like this could have this on like you know early could have just gotten gotten us, but wow, 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 wow. Uh, ooh. two, three, and a six. But um, don't mind it. And we got a decent amount of lands to start off. All right, maybe a little bit too many lands. Assuming this connects, we are off to the races, right? Vigilance. All right, well, I will snap off the attack. I know it feels kind of weird to trade that, but like them playing that off curve is also kind of odd. I don't know, maybe I could have waited on it, but also vigilance. Vigilance annoys me. I don't like when my opponent gets to attack and block. Exile cards from my hand. Okay, I think we do land. Land? Like, our, our five drops, we don't have a lot of five drops, we just, just drew lands, like, we're good. We can hit him for three. I don't mind that. Sure. The question becomes, what do I do? Do I really want to spend six mana to kill a creature, or do I want to loot this away? And do I really need this land? I think we're looting. I think we are looting all the time. All the time loot. There we go. We just drew another land. All right. Play it and we'll go attacking, I guess. We'll make another blood token. It like sucks that we have to lose our We keep on trading down. Um so for those that don't understand about like trading down, anytime you spend mana for something, you typically want to, you know, get you know, use it to get rid of something that costs the same or less. So in the scenario where our two drop traded for their one drop, not a great interaction, and our three drop traded for their two drop, also not a really great interaction for us. Um, I was about to be like, land off the top would be pretty decent, but it's still not great, right? <sighs> like we kill this and they get one ones? I hate this card. Like, how have I played? I played against two today in this just this draft, right? Do I kill it? I guess I got it, right? Whoa, one was sealed? Okay, never mind. Never mind then. I have no idea how to combat the card unless I am exiling it. Oh my god. You're gonna breathe the other half? Oh, that's kind of good. Yeah, I do have one in my deck somewhere. I've never drawn it. I'm gonna hit with a 5 4 in the meantime. Yikes. Alright, come on. Do I just keep looking? I just keep digging? I just keep digging. We digging. We digging. Well, this would have been nice to have <laughs> earlier. <laughs> and he's back. Bring my own army. Yeah, you sure do. 
I've got another creature you control. It's not even non-token. Jesus. Um, I kind of want to just concede. Can I concede? This card's insane too. Three mana, two two that just like easily turns into a four 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 three lifelink. Um. I don't know. What do I do? It's like I can hit this, and then, and then this transforms. Like, ugh. Yeah. Wait. This is a bad play. This is a really bad play. Uh. Well. I just don't know what to do, man. Like. I'm at two life already, like... My opponent's at 19. They have a bunch of life linkers. Okay, alright, 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 okay, 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 alright. Chill. Chill. Hand is slow, but I'm gonna keep it. I draw any one or two drop. Here, hand becomes fairly decent. I guess, do we know? I guess, do we know, like, about the speed of the format? It doesn't seem super fast. Ooh, that's kind of scary. Comes the target of a spell you control, draw a card. It flies. For the attacks, tap target creature. So, like, even though this is just gonna get tapped down by this, this is still more mana efficient to play this and then play Gift of Fangs next turn. Um, it's like that's whatever. Do be taking the damages. Um, yeah, let's gift the fangs. Oh, wait. Creature has tap target creature defending player controls. Okay, so hear me out. I gift the fangs the drake. Because, like, this is going to do something anyways. This is going to tap something down next turn. And I don't want him getting cards. Yeah. I'm going to chill. And also, like, now at a later turn, if I he attacks at this and I block with it, I can scavenger the Geist in the graveyard. Alright, that's fine. I, I'm just gonna block here. Like, if, if I can... If I can snipe the enchantment out of the graveyard, which I can. Insane. Value. Uh, when it attacks, target creature opponent controls gets minus two minus O. Oh. Disturb. Do I want to get in? I think I am getting in. They can make this a 4 1, which is annoying. I can actually just take it. Yeah, no blocks. They got. Whoa! That's okay, because I have a removal. Does this do? Remember the graveyard, second from the top. Oh. Well, that wasn't really great. But this is fine. I'm just gonna just gonna get in there. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to five here, which doesn't feel great. But the celebrants here should. Okay, that's fine. So let's do this. And then. Attacking. Okay. 
Yep, it's fine. I am gonna block. I guess they still get to do this with their mana, which is annoying. It's fine. We'll sack up blood, discard the statue. Because I think I do want to start gaining life with this. Hmm. Okay. So we have choices here. I think I'm definitely playing the guest. Do I play this? Yeah, because like this gains life, right? As well. Again, keeping the land in the hand. Attacks one or more. When you attack with one or more creatures, mill that many cards. Target player mills that many. Okay. Uh, let's do this. passing it's just like uh how much how much do i want to loot with this i don't think i have a sorcery right in my deck that like can deal with this so i think i'll just like leave up what i got going on and and pass as soon as they attack with this i'm blocking and 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 then attacking back this is fine they get to gain some life but i get to attack back Maybe I should have cast this since I wasn't dying immediately, but I think, I think I'm going to value... Oh, wow, they're not attacking. All right, then I'm just looking for some removal spells. That's a pretty nice one. Um, I think I'm playing this in passing. Fine. Sack a dude or I transform. Uh this let's me do this. Uh let's loot now. That was kind of a card that I was looking for. If that creature would die this turn, exile it. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna go full on attack here. We're gonna go here, 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 here. And then no, really no matter what my opponent blocks with, we're gonna be blessed bolting this. Okay. Damage. Uh, Actually, hold up. It should be, let's do this right. So let's deal the damage first, then, uh, then cast this. All right, we did it right. Uh, it really doesn't matter, but if my opponent had a combat trick there in hand uh, to, to affect the situation or like a removal spell or something, um, you know, it, it could change things. That is the objective better way to do it as opposed to casting the uh, Flame Blessed Bolt uh, first. So presumably we should just have... This felt really good this turn. What was this? Sure, tap some dudes, attack a little bit, I'll block... <laughs> a block with my O3. <laughs> Good game. Bam, 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 bam. Um, all right. This looks. Fantastic. I like all the cards in my hand. I have lanes and spells. I'm ready to play some magic. Looks like my opponent is mulliganing here.
to five. Wow. You know, I keep seeing this minister, and I think people think it's good, and they're wrong. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm gonna play... I could play this, and then flip this, but I think I would rather just play this into the guest. If I play this into the guest and then, like, flip the recluse, I guess, like, this could, like, potentially lead to, like, more stuff. Yeah. I think this is where I'm going. Spirit is gonna be a little annoying. Oh, I can attack, since it can only block uh, flyers. So maybe not. Maybe we're good. Exile a creature from your graveyard, it has the activated abilities. Sure. So here, I do the Recluse. Sack of Blood. I think I'm discarding this. And I guess I might as well attack like this. Like, they're not blocking, right? Yeah. Oh, do they actually have something? Okay. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. It's like if they had something. Uh, and then next turn, I play the guest, sack the blood to the bloodseeker, and we go off. Sure. All right. Yep. Back for three. Yeah. Like, I'm about to have quite a board here. Uh, yeah. Let's go land. Gluttonous guests. Make another blood token. Sack the blood tokens. And let's just go attacking, right? Like, I don't care if my opponent blocks this. They take three. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. Get another blood token. Tax. You may pay one if you do against indestructible. Sure. Um, let's go attacking. All right, let's like let, let's attack with this because we're probably not blocking. They block. That's fine. Okay. Um. So what am I doing here? I think I am. Sacking, discarding, gaining, <laughs> playing. I think I'm playing this and getting back uh, the vampire. Playing the vampire. Jeez, that's a lot of uh, shield bashers. It's annoying. Um, this is getting indestructible, man. It's crazy. Um, I think I'm actually blocking with the guest here. So this is nice. Then let's go Takarino here. It's getting back. It's getting back. I was like, opponent, that's got first strike. And I think we're going to come out on top here since, yeah, we can gain life. Like, they got, yeah, they got these two 4-2s. They're doing things, um, but, like, we got stuff and things. Oh, they 
do it on both. Ugh. I think I'm blocking here and just taking seven? Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice one. Uh, that was actually really good. Wait, whoa, that was insane. Uh, let's see if we can find a way to remove this. Alright, well... So we attack like this, and then just do some blocking. And yeah, that's fine. Oh, we need more blood tokens. <laughs> All the blood tokens. Is that one of these? Yeah, wait, this is, this is gonna give us lethal. You know, I should have been doing that instead of, uh, okay. Just for three, you say? Sure. Uh, let's, let's just keep sacking these, because I feel like, yeah, I feel like, um, I'm going to need the life. All right, that I feel like I'm leading away. I can use this to, to drain them and then get another token. What do they have that's activatable? So... Hmm. This is rough. Um, let's go attacking like this. And I guess this? This is when it attacks, right? It's like, I, I do kind of want to gain another life from this. This, it says at the beginning of your end step. You're going to get it, and then... Yeah. Let's just do this. So we trade here. And then I think I'm just activating this, holding up the flame blessed bolts. This is just creatures you control get plus one plus one. And this is only at the end step. The beginning of your end step. Yeah. Yeah, so it gets a counter every turn. So, like, like end step will probably have to... Or before the end step, we'll probably have to Blessed Bolt this. Sure. That doesn't do much. Is it each? Wait. Why did we get a blow? Oh, we got a blood token because the end... Sorry, the end step trigger. Okay. I was, like, confused for a sec. All right, that we're going in response. Now we're gonna do this. Yeah. I guess I should try to lure them into a false sense of security, but yeah. All right. What can this draw me? Or does this just win me that like does this just end up winning me the game? I don't really want to play this. Like my life total is at such a precarious position. Yeah, I actually think I am not doing this.
Innocent Traveler. So they have humans. This also is a blocker. Is this better than just... Gain three more life. So this is their... Yeah, I think I actually play this, because this forces them to sack dudes. Um... And I think I'm just passing. It's like I'm going to 10 here. Like they can't really attack me profitably. Oh my god. The flyers, dude. The flyers. It's like he does have to keep sacking dudes. I guess like this gains him even more life. Yeah, this is rough. Hmm. It might have been wrong to play that. Wait, he sacked the spirit? Why do you sack a spirit? Yeah, that was an odd sack. Oh, hello. Uh, what does this do? This can make it so that, like, this doesn't transform? I guess he can't gain life. How is he gaining life? Oh, he's gaining life off of this? What do I kill? I kill the spirit? I just kill this thing. What is this? I feel like the spirit is, like, more of a problem, but, like... <sighs> what am I targeting with this? Am I targeting an ant? You kill the spirit? Do I target at all? Do I just activate? Yeah, alright. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Yeah, this doesn't- I know this isn't gonna flip. Yeah, I guess I'm just passing. And then next turn, like, second a bunch. Oh, see, but then this can flip at some point. Oh, I guess he has to keep sacking dudes. That's fine. I just gotta keep sacking dudes every turn. Put him in the abyss. Put him in the abyss. This is fine. Alright, so then let's do some looting. That's not a bad one. Pretty good one. It's kind of one I want to play. Yeah, I'm going to play it. Uh, and that's... We're at an interesting board stall here. I think I win it because of the Reveler. Sure. Okay. I don't mind this flip thing, right? This just like gets death touch. Yeah, you know, this isn't a big deal. And actually again, he has to he has to uh block uh yeah, so this transforms, but like then well I guess it's uh what is it it's a it's a three five or whatever. Like that's fine. Oh and then he didn't sack. Interesting. So I could make this smaller, or I can make this bigger. Ooh, wait. Is that just lethal? That's just lethal. This is a vampire making sure, okay, not making the same mistake twice. Let's go. All right, so let's review. So, cards that felt really good. Gift of Fangs. Blessed Bolt, obviously. Ragged Recluse was fine, right? It flipped pretty often if you had enough blood tokens. 
Um, and when it flipped, like, it was just 3-3 three, three and it did things. Reveler won us a lot of games. And providing blood tokens alongside uh, Gluttonous Guest uh, feels great. Oh, the Recluse, yes, the Recluse, yes, the Recluse is not a vampire. We, let's, let's make that known as a human. Um, Vampire's Kiss felt good. This felt playable, like, this felt serviceable, like, it, it works with our deck. It's not the best, but like I would, I I was happy having two of them in my deck. Uh, the statuette felt very conditional, but like in the times, like I could always like loot it away with blood tokens or like, you know, just play it for a blood token. So like, this was fine. It's not like a card that I would slam in every deck, but here it was fine. Courier Bat felt really really good. Like just three mana two two flying is already good, and a lot of cases again where we have the guest. Where we have, were there any other ways that we gain life? I guess the scavenger is the only real. I guess uh, vampire's kiss, but like just just gluttonous guest, uh, and and courier bat felt like fine. Where like the, the gluttonous ooze, gluttonous guest, excuse me. I, I I'm thinking of like gluttonous ooze. Wasn't that a card in like the D and D set or something? Um, but gluttonous guest felt actually fairly good. Uh, three metal one four. Um, is like a, a good body for like a defensive line and then like the rest of your creatures are like what's attacking and the life gain like this is just such a, gr a, a great defensive body um as well as tacking on the gain life uh like i had like two of them going a couple games and it just felt insane every time i was just like making two like uh gaining two life a turn like making tokens with the blood seeker and then just like looting through my deck um felt great Belligerent guest is great. Uh, I I I had no, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, no uh, doubts that that card was going to be fairly decent. Rending flame, great. Uh, Forboding statue felt good. It felt slow. It felt not great in some matchups. It's like I know, like it's just a three mana five five sometimes, but also on the turns where you draw it later in the game, or like when you're getting beaten down by five fives or something, um, you know. Uh, I wanted to loot it away, but I believe I did. Um, Diagraph Scavenger felt A, a plus. I don't, I don't know if it's like just by like, why I like the card so much. It's got Death Touch, it's Graveyard Interaction, and it drain, and it and it's got a four point life swing attached to it. Um, of note, a lot of so like a lot of the disturbed creatures, which are the cards you typically want to get rid of. Like, they look like enchantments while they were on. Like, there was one time where, like, I saw an enchantment in my opponent's graveyard that they could cast. And I was like, ah, it's an enchantment. It's not going to trigger this. But the disturbed side, like, the, the creature side is a creature. That sentence just made no sense. But, um, so, like, there are a ton of targets to, to get that trigger going uh, more than you'd think. Um, I'm not really going to talk about <laughs> the blood, the blood vial of purveyor. It's rare. It's good. Um, Innocent Traveler felt, as I thought, conditional. But in the games where it was good, it was really good. Like, just either a five-powered attacker or just, like, my opponent just never wanted to let it flip and they just kept sacking dudes to it. Walgrass Celebrant is, like, the, in my opinion, the premier five-drop. Like, this is the card... You know, if you're in this deck, like this is this is what you want your five drop to be, not not something else. I don't know what other five drops there are, but like this seems like it. Um, two blood tokens is a lot, um, and Metis is great. Like I would I would play this card honestly if it was it was five minute four four and make one blood token. So like, or no blood. Like I don't even need the blood. Like I feel like five minute four four Metis would be serviceable, and the blood is just great. Grizzly Ritual felt. Really, really clunky, but um, good. Like I, 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 like I was fine playing it. Again, two blood tokens is a lot, and I felt like the games where I cast it and didn't die afterwards, which I believe was most of them, was fine. Obviously, you don't want a lot in your deck; it's expensive. But one I felt was fine. Like I, I didn't hate having the card in my hand. I hated not having lands to cast it but like that's whatever um, as for the format as a whole i really enjoy that it, it it does appear to be fairly slowed down there's a lot of grind grindiness going on i like what 
blood does for the format it's not necessarily card draw but it's card filtering and so like again as we've noted uh, many times i drawn a ton of lands but i turned them into spells thanks to i'm um, just drawing a few blood tokens um and then you know i felt like i got a lot of i got reward i felt rewarded for making interesting decisions about when i sacked my blood tokens whether i was searching for a sorcery like gift of the fangs um or another creature or whether like i was doing so you know to to, to gain life or whether i was you know um looting away lands during my, in my opponent's end step i felt very re rewarded for playing my cards correctly um and when i say correctly i mean not putting gift of fangs on my own uh my own uh human <laughs> that's gonna be a joke for a while um so there's the one game right where we lost to oh no no there's the one game where we lost to the wrath right and the game we lost to the six six and the opponent just had a bunch of combat tricks otherwise we were, any game that we like like drew a, uh, a good amount of lands and spells and were able to 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 play our hands out um the deck was able to beat both be aggressive and also grind so very interesting um, all right, I think I've rambled on for enough. That's going to do it for this draft and for the video. If you guys are watching on YouTube, you can find me here at twitch.tv slash ruxora098. Um, I do lots of Magic the Gathering content as well as um, also streaming Valorant fairly often if there are any FPS fans out there. Um, yeah. All right, I will see everyone for the next video.